Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I just thought I'd talk a little about some things I've been hearing lately in the Claire Plain about uh, Zen mind, no mind, and about the power of the heart. Um, my own experience is about the power of the heart. Um, I have various friends who pursue the Zen Buddhist path uh, that's sometimes called no mind. And that's just a very, um, it's a very empty mind, you know, no thoughts. And um, I have some experience of that myself as well over the years, uh, in the last 15 or 16 years. And uh, I, I have also uh, some reading that I did, Arthur E. Powell, one of his, the books that he um, put together. It explains about thought forms. And it explains what happens when a person's mind is empty, for whatever reason, according to his sources. And uh, his sources say that when the mind is completely empty, well, first of all, you should know there are thought forms galumping all over everywhere, all over the world, especially in the cities, you know, because there are a lot of people there forming thoughts. And so he has a very vivid passage about thought forms. Uh, that, that some people can't see, Claire C. Um, so anyway, um, his writing it says that when a person's mind is completely empty, then thought forms, which are always out there, galumping around here and there, bumping into things, especially minds on the astral plane, they, they galump right into the empty mind and take up residence. And so I found um, this to be kind of true, actually, after years of practicing no mind um, as much as possible all day long. What I found is that into my empty mind came uh, first thought forms pinging back and forth, which you can kind of ignore, you know. But, but also came in uh, the thought that like the whole like mental identity of other people who were out on the astral plane for whatever reason. Now, um, and those people would stay with me until I started talking to other people or like uh, getting a life on the physical plane. So this is not desirable. It's good to keep our mind f sacred for our own thoughts, I feel. That's my feeling about it. Um, so, so recently I've taken up um, Judy Satori's uh, Activations of Light for the heart. Uh, and, and my hope is that as time, it's going to take a while, but as time goes on, I'm hoping that the energy of my heart will clear to such an extent that, um, that my heart will, the energy of my heart will permanently overcome the energy of my mental field. I know you've heard me talk about this before. Um, Bill Ballard has already done this, and, and no doubt Judy has done it, and many others have done it in the past, as well as all of the, of course, the great ones, the Christ, the Buddha, everyone who's enlightened has managed to stabilize their energy field so that the mind and the heart are one. So, so that's what I'm working on right now, is, is the uh, heart uh, clearing med um, activations of light. Um, wherever I can find them. Sometimes I find them in Tom Canyon, sometimes in, in Judy Satori's work, and I may find ones elsewhere as well. And uh, say a little prayer for me, you know, in hopes that all this will go well. Uh, I just thought I'd mention, because there are many, you know, people out there who are attempting to empty their minds, this caveat about the mind field being, um, it's like a potent, um, it's like when you have a garden soil tilled and fertilized and ready to, for planting and the garden is the mind and the, the thoughts that come into it are the are the seeds that that are planted there so so the field of the mind is always ready to accept thought so anyway uh, so so the, so the point is that we need to strengthen the energy of our electric, electromagnetic field to the point where 
the energy of the heart, it generates enough energy to completely stabilize the mental field and the emotional field. Well, so that's all for now. <laughs> Y'all take care. Wish me luck.